I'm, I'm taking video. I'm not. I could take a shot as well. She's a she's a supporter of the um the issue, is she? Yeah, she certainly is. Because she'll have nowhere else to go if this goes. Um, and she's not the only horse that comes here. There's others. So if this goes, that's it. So, like a lot of residents, it took me many years to actually discover this place existed and then probably we made the mistake of keeping it too secret. According to the, the council's analysis, this is a weekly performing green belt. We don't think it's weak at all. And in fact, if you join this One Tree Hill with Stokes Nature Reserve, it's a fantastic area, whether it's for dog walkers, normal walkers, joggers or what have you. And the council says it's got an urban, urban flavour to it, but actually if you get down in there, you really believe you're in the countryside. I've seen badgers, I've seen deer. as a group uh, and residents in this area that working in conjunction with Elmbridge Council and the planners is the way forward to look at all the options and understand if all the brownfield sites have been looked at ahead of Area 58 because then we'll know what our options are and how best it's going to serve both the council and the government to provide the housing that's being looked for. I hope you've enjoyed watching this little video I put together of uh, a few residents voicing their concerns on this issue. I think the main thing I got out of today was that we need to work with the council in order to assess all options equally. Um, because I think a lot of residents see One Tree Hill as already condemned by the council's insistence on option two. But we would like to have a good look at this designation that the council's done and um, really get to the bottom of other suitable areas because I think our objections to One Tree Hill will not be heard otherwise. Yes, thank you.